Hey everyone, it's Kelly. Welcome to part one of my Christmas Decorate With Me series. I am so excited for today's video. We are gonna be decorating my dining room today. Some of you still might think it's a little early. I'm not one to decorate right after Halloween. I do give myself a few weeks to kind of put everything away from fall and just have a clean slate. But that being said, I love to have all of my holiday decor up the week before Thanksgiving. I've always done it that way. I will continue to do it that way. I just love Christmas that much. It makes me so happy. Before we get into this video, I just want to thank Gyroar for sponsoring today's video and for sending us the coolest early Christmas present. As you can see, we were so excited to open our new electric scooter. If you're looking for an ideal gift for your kiddos, the Gyroar H30 Max, weighing only 13 pounds, is perfect for kids ages 6 to 12 up to 154 pounds and is specifically tailored for kids, offering three color choices and three height options. With two different speed settings at 6.5 miles per hour and 10 miles per hour, you can choose the speed that works best for your child. The H30 Max can be used as both an electric scooter and a kick scooter. It's also equipped with a high performance handbrake system. When you need to stop, just step on the rear foot brake or press the left handbrake button until the speed drops. With 150 watt powerful motor and long distance range of approximately 10 miles, you can let your little ones ride their own scooter with no worries. The H30 Max is equipped with a quality 36 volt safety certified battery pack and just takes two hours to fully charge. The eye-catching LED lights and Bluetooth music not only ensures the safety of riding at night, but also can make it an unforgettable childhood memory for your kids. Gyroar provides a 30-day package return, free shipping to 48 states, a one-year mechanical warranty, and a six-month battery warranty so you can relax while your child enjoys driving the Gyroar H30 Max. Head over to gyroarboard.com for their Black Friday sale featuring electric scooters, bikes, and hoverboards, and receive up to $150 off your purchased item. Thank you again to Gyroar for sponsoring today's video. Before we start decorating, let's go over everything that I chose to use to decorate my dining room today. Before I go over everything, I just want you guys to know this takes me a few days to put together. You can see I already have things planned or mapped out of where I want it to go and how I want it to look. It doesn't take me an hour to do this. It is literally days. So I know when you're watching, it's about 20 minutes of footage, but honestly, it takes forever to do this, which is why I pre-plan. First up, we have this Santa cookie jar stuffed with various stems. Both are from Hobby Lobby. We have this tiered tray that I thrifted from Goodwill, and on the bottom, I just placed a few glass ball ornaments. Those are from Home Goods. Here we have a Santa mug from the at-home store, and then I just placed a bottle brush tree inside. Just a little tip, if the tree is too small and falls to the bottom of the mug, I just place some paper towels in there, and voila, that works. And then I have this little white tray back here. This one is from Hobby Lobby. Here is the set of Christmas tree print plates and bowls. That is from my local home store, Santa's Wrap. This little wood tray is from Hobby Lobby, and then I have my false graph creamer and sugar bowl, and then I just stuffed the creamer with a few stems. This Santa mug is from Target by Threshold. I believe I got this one last year, maybe even two years ago, I can't remember. And then this one is also stuffed with a bottle brush tree. This mercury glass tree, this one I purchased at Hobby Lobby last year. I'm using a few of my small false craft plates. I just topped it with this tiered cloche. And then inside, I just placed this tiny little Santa mug and a few little Christmas trees. Here are two of my false craft heritage canisters. I just filled the one with a few wooden utensils and then this one, a Christmas tree. And then back here, we have another Santa mug. This one is from Hobby Lobby. We have a set of trumpet candlesticks topped with the candles that I purchased from Michael's. I have a few little white ceramic houses. These are from the Target dollar spot last year. 
And then I have another tiny little cloche filled with Christmas trees. We also have a set of four gold bells and these are from Walmart. Here is the mirror that I purchased from Hobby Lobby along with the wreath and I already pre-attached the wreath with a command hook. This blanket is from Target by Threshold. I have a bunch of pre-lit garland. This is from Walmart and this is all gonna go on my banister and console table. This garland right here, this is by Studio McGee from Target and this is also gonna go on the banister I'm gonna try to intertwine this with the pine garland from Walmart. I have a few cedar napkin rings. These are from Kirkland's. You'll see what I do with those. And then back here, I have a few more candle wreaths from Hobby Lobby. Also from Hobby Lobby is this gold bell garland. We have two small wreaths and then two types of ribbon. We have the red velvet and then also ivory satin. These pine cones I purchased from Santa's Wrap. Continuing with Hobby Lobby, I have this frosty snow filler. We also have a brass lantern, a few gold candlesticks, and this basket. And then on the inside of the lantern, I have a few bottle brush trees, and those are from Target. And then lastly, I have a few strands of this bell garland. This is also from Hobby Lobby, and we're gonna be putting this on the banister with a garland. Okay guys, grab a coffee, sit back, relax, and let's get my dining room ready for Christmas.
Alright guys, that's it for part one of my Christmas Decorate With Me series. I'm really happy with how everything came together and I'm loving that cedar and eucalyptus garland by Studio McGee. If you're still on the search for some affordable garland, I highly suggest purchasing that one. It's such great quality. I'm also really feeling the deeper reds this year for that pop of color while keeping everything else more muted and neutral and together it gives the room a vintage vibe which is what I was aiming for this year. I don't have a particular style, I just cross my fingers and pray that it all comes together. I hope you enjoyed my Christmas decor in today's video. Let me know in the comments what you think and how you plan to decorate your home this holiday season. As always, I appreciate you all watching my video. Please hit that like button and consider subscribing if you haven't already, as well as hitting that notification bell. Christmas is just a few weeks away, so you know there are more decorating videos to come. I'll see you all in the next one.